Do you need to send your students some digital files, but you don't necessarily want to send them all 150 pages? Hi, my name's Jennifer, and today on Simply Kinder, I'm going to show you how to break apart some of those secured files so that you can send them to your students in a smaller format using the program called Preview. Let's go ahead and get started. I want to start just by telling you files are secured per copyright. There's no way around it. Um, the elements, the fonts, the clip art that we use requires our files to be locked. And so that is why our files do come secured. However, there are a few ways for you to break the pages apart so that they're more manageable for you in a digital world. This way is using a program called Preview. So what you're going to do is you're going to put the doc find the document on your computer, computer hit right click, open with, and select preview. Now your, your file might already open using preview, um, but if it doesn't, you can right click open with. You can tell that it's preview, you can't see in this screenshot right here, but up in the very top toolbar, it'll say preview, file, edit, view, go, tools, window. Um, if you're in a program like Adobe, it'll say Adobe, file, edit, view, go. Um, so that upper left-hand corner is really key to making sure you're open in the right program. So now I've got this whole big file, and I don't want to send it. Number one, it probably won't even send digitally because it's so large. And I don't want to send my students all 26 letters in all these different ways um, that we give you. And so I want to extract just the pages that I need. So I'm going to find them over here. Um, in the viewer pane over here. I don't know what this little guy is called, but let's say we're doing the letter D. I'm going to hit Command, hold down Command, and then click that page. That's going to select this page to be extracted. Now, every time I hit Command, it's going to pick just that page. So if I also want F, I can hit Command and do F. But if I don't want it, then I hit Command and unclick it. So I need the letter D. This first set in this file is the entire craft on one, print, one printable page. So that would be easiest for me to send to my families. But we also give it to you in several different formats or in a different format. Like over here on the letter D, we give you, you know, this one has three students, the spikes. This one has 20 eyeballs for the dinosaur. Um, it's for printing on color paper, and they won't necessarily be printing on color paper at home, so um, it, it doesn't make any sense to send it to them like that. So I'm going to scroll down to the very end and see what else there is in here, past all these. See, these are huge because each letter, if you do it in color like the sample show, you have to print the different colors. But it would also be a really good idea to send a sample photo. So I'm going to hold down Command again, and I'm going to select the D there. And then we also ask if you're using Simply Kinder resources that you also um, select the credits page at the end. That way we give credit to the clip art artist and it has the copyright in terms of use on it. So now that I've got my pages selected, I am going to go back and I'm going to go File, Print. And on here, um, it says Pages. Now this page may look a smidge different for you because every computer's printer drivers are a little bit different. Um, when I log in as my test user on my computer, which is what you're looking at now, it looks like this. When I log in as me on my computer, it looks a smidge different. Um, so you'll just have to kind of look for these key components. So it says pages. We don't want to print all the pages. We want to print the selected pages in the range. So you can see this part down here dropped to four. And oh, look, I accidentally even picked this last or this first page. So I'm going to unselect that because I don't want that first page. Um, so I'm going to go File, Print, and see right now it says pages 1 through 150. I'm going to come down here, select pages in the sidebar. And then on this test user, it's down here. But when I'm on my regular user, it's right here. It says printer, and then I select that, and it'll say save as PDF. But for some reason, when I'm on my test user, it has me do it this way. So I'm going to click this PDF option here, and I'm going to open it in preview. And it is going to open just those three pages for me, so that way I can save them and send them to my students as I need to. And so I have that, and then I'm just going to go File, Save, and I want to save this to my desktop, letter D, and I will show you that it is now an 
an extracted document with just the pages that I need. And so that's how you use preview in order to extract the pages that you need so that you don't have to send the full great big huge Simply Kinder documents. There are two other ways to do this and I will leave a link for you on how to get access to those. One of them is using Google and another one is using Adobe which is a free program. Hope that helps. Please reach out if you have any questions and stay well my friends. Goodbye.